All right, so I'm gonna be unorthodox and start this video inside because it is hotter than you know what outside. So I'm gonna start us off inside. So first I need to tell you about this home. It is in West San Antonio, outside 1604. Where am I wearing glasses inside? And it's a pet friendly home. So if you know someone or you are looking for a pet friendly home, this is the home that's already got installations for pets. So if you have a dog, cat, and you're tired of paying pet rent, you ought to come check out this home. Let's get started. All right, so as promised, ah, melting. Uh, just kidding, we're gonna start off. So first of all, this is not my listing, but if you are interested in looking at this house or buying this house, I can represent you as a buyer's agent. The agent is actually that person right there, and that's who we would be negotiating with. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at this two-story, 1836, so 1,836 square feet. We're having an open house today, and if the home continues to stay on the market, we can take a visit. So let's take a look at this. It's a three-bed, two-and-a-half bath for 311,000. That's the current offering price. So we're gonna take a tour inside. And as I stated before, this home is set up for a pet friendly home. Let me back up here so you can screen a little better. All right, so right off the entrance, you have a little half bath with a commode and sink and mirror. Let's get you the full view here. And it's a recess lighting. Sorry, I'm still learning to work with this stabilizer. You have to be patient. Okay, and here is the upstairs, and it has a pet gate. So the pet gate, what you do, it's already locked. And, I mean, it's already installed. But you just want to, like, make sure you don't have to put it in, I'm sure they'll keep it or leave it depending on the contract or whatever kind of offer. There's another one up there, we'll see it in a bit. Now let's pan over to the living room area. So it looks like down here is uh, cable connections. And I did bring down the blinds earlier. These are neat little blinds. So they're like pull and then they go up and this one as well you pull it and then it goes up thought that was neat and there's a backyard so these are the two large windows for the living room you can close those pull down blinds if you want it seems as if they have those pull down blinds throughout there's another set over there all right Let's take a look at the flooring. Let's get over here. We have the same type of blind system. And here is the pet friendly door. So here you have a little doggy door that goes out and in dog or cat I would imagine would enjoy that and then the exterior the fence don't look too shabby you have a nice little cement uh, concrete patio the fence don't appear to be any large holes under the fence work let's have this nice shaded tree they have a little swing it's a nice branch to swing from then you have this larger tree in the back that kind of goes out everywhere here. They've made an accommodation for it. I'm sure it provides ample shade for the neighbors. And here's 
the back view to the back. So let's take it inside. Moving around here to this little kitchen, dining, breakfast nook here. And then let's take a look at these appliances and countertop, granite countertop. Nickel fixtures, handles. You have the gas stove range. You have the middle tortilla. I call it the tortilla warmer. You have the microwave and of course the oven. Let's take a look at one of these. Pretty firm. And then you have this little coffee. Maybe you'd want to install some shelving. That's the garage. That's the pantry. This is the fridge. <laughs> okay, so obviously and then here's the sink, double sink with a filtration. Oh, I don't see it working. I think it has to be pantry size. And then the garage, it's a two car garage. I won't open it because the sellers still have their stuff there. Flooring appears to not have any major issues or not have any issues, I guess. A little sign in area. Very cool. Okay, let's back up here. So let's head upstairs. We're gonna walk through this pet gate. We're gonna head upstairs now. And as I was talking about, here is another pet gate already installed. So as you come up, you have a full bath. Let's take a look at these fixtures. All right, shower head, and then recess lighting. Let's go to the left. Okay, here's a linen closet, very important. Washroom, bedroom, kids' bedroom. Overlooks the front. And then here's the closet, double door closet. There we go. Okay, everything works. Carpet. All right, let's turn this way. Here we have a nice green. This is the color I painted my daughter's room when she was a baby like the consistent blinds, the pull-down blinds. That's good. Then you have larger walk-in closet, more of a box shaped. The other one with the double doors was rectangular. Okay, so there's bedroom one that we just came from first and then the second one. So the one, two, you got the full bath right here. And here would be the master. With the master bathroom. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. Let's just observe the space here. Do have a ceiling fan with two large windows with those cool blinds. Oh, you get a view of the roof right there. And then here is 
the restroom, you have the door, right? So it's a door that opens up into the master bathroom. Oh, oh okay. So consistent cabinetry. Hello. Large mirror. You have the recess lighting on top. And then your shower area. They have the curved rod. And got this extra space here, which is nice. You put like a little shelf there. And it's got some additional toilet thingamajiggers. You have your window with regular blinds. <laughs> and then here is the closet. So it's larger than the other closet that, as you would expect. Let's just walk around in here to give you an idea. All right, so we're heading out back to And oh, okay, so something is, there's a cable plug for the master. So I would imagine the bed would go there and they've got outlets on each side. And this is the stair, stairwell, staircase where you came up, the stairs. And here to, I guess it would be the right, is another little area an open area could be used as an office playroom looks like they're using it as cat fun a nice room it's a good space for an office I would definitely say or kids toy play area and this here's the aircon system yeah and there's a fan you have the lighting with the recessed lighting. So you have all three bedrooms upstairs with a full bath for the accommodating the two bedrooms. You have your washroom. And then that's pretty much the home, guys. Wanted to just give you a good pet friendly. Definitely the aspects, the benefits of this home is the pet friendliness that are already in place. And if you're living in an apartment, or you're paying pet rent at a rental and you want to invest in a home this is a good home you can do that in all right so thank you for watching my name is Jessica I help people move to San Antonio rent or buy and I'd be happy to help you with that just gonna be on my profile or I'm gonna put it down below thank you for watching see you on the next one